Hello everyone, so another day, another trailer to react to. So today we have Prey. We got a bit of a teaser trailer a few weeks ago, but this is a Predator movie set in the 1700s. And I do feel like that is a very interesting concept. I'm not certain how well it's going to work just in terms of like how they're going. To, so basically how the people of this time are going to be able to even go up against someone as technically advanced as a predator i mean stealth and of course too just knowing the land is definitely going to be the basically the indigenous people who uh, seem to be the focus of this film is going to be the way that they're able to again just have the upper hand against the predator but um yeah again i'm just really excited to kind of see the concept it's directed by the guy who did 10 cloverfield lane I don't remember his name right now, but I absolutely love that film and he's great at creating suspense and terror. So with this full length trailer, I'm excited to see what they're able to build up. I know it's going to be streaming um, exclusively on Hulu, so I wonder how long it's going to be, too. But again, I'm excited to see again just what they can do with this concept. So without further ado, let us react to it and watch it here. Why do you want to hunt? Because you all think that I can't. I saw a sign in the sky. I'm ready. Cinematography looks pretty amazing. Nita. Taking on a pair as he first prayed. I think it's not. Little terrifying. There's something out there. Cinematography looks amazing and beautiful. You can't. I'm trying to protect you. Protect me from what? It's time. from oh, the first trailer. <laughs> oh, I'll never get tired of that sound. It knows how to hunt. I know how to survive. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering too if we we're gonna see invaders. They're all gonna get smoked. Whatever did this, I can kill it. Okay, that looks awesome. <laughs> that looks really good. All right. Yeah, they're making really good use of the time period. I think that. Yeah, I'm sold. That looks amazing. Um, geez, again, the cinematography and everything. And just the way that they use the predator and his stealth and like again you kind of don't know what's stalking them at all but it's terrifying and very very well done we got a little look i'll look back and see we got like a tiny little tease of what the suit's gonna look like it's yeah geez i think it's really cool too again now that i see the trailer the concept of they have no idea what they're going up against is really again gonna build up that suspense and fear which this director did so well with tank cloverfield lane and he'll be able to do really really well with this and again i wonder how often we're going to see the predator in this movie but again i <laughs> those <laughs> those invaders are going to get absolutely slaughtered by the predator and i think that's going to be probably a crazy scene where i feel like it might even be a three-way battle between the indigenous people them and the predator kind of working their way in between both of them, even maybe too. He's just trying to stalk this uh, female protagonist that we have the entirety of the time, like during this battle. But it's going to be like that's going <laughs> to they're going to have to both fight and work their way through the battle while the predator is hunting her. Um, I think this looks absolutely awesome. <laughs> and I'm really, really excited to, to, to see it. My goodness. Yeah. And this might have jumped. 
quite a few paces up on my most anticipated movie of the year list in all honesty acting looks really really good again to dialogue and just the presence of all the characters and especially the presence of the predator seems absolutely amazing and yeah i think that um again when i first heard about this concept and when i first saw it i wasn't too certain how well it was gonna work but i feel like this is just the perfect setting for a predator film and again too what i was saying a little bit earlier where it's like hunter versus hunter works really really well and um I'm not certain how, I mean, obviously he has so much advanced gear. He's way overpowered compared to anyone in this time period. But, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I, I like all the ways that she seems to, again, just be learning how to hunt and be able to go up against them. And she's the only one who seems to, I'm certain there's going to be a lot of indigenous culture in this film and she's going to kind of be the one to break a little bit of that in terms of knowing that they're outmatched and she has to adapt in many other ways and um i'm certain too she's going to definitely be like a predator and observe the ways that the predator is able to hunt her tribe and all the other people and use that to her advantage kind of like arnie did in the original film so taking elements from that era but can't just do a job with the setting it i don't I, i'm really excited for it okay so let's see let's see some of the things that they here again just the cinematography looks really good. extremely atmospheric i love the part here where um they're running through the grass and you can just see like nothing gaining on them so yeah right here that's incredible <laughs> it looks so good it's going to be really interesting to see how they filmed all of this, too. If they just green screened it out and laid up a bunch of traps and stuff, they better not hurt that puppy. But that's pretty sweet, too. Great for combat. We have the little ally here. He got the shoulder cannon. It looked like he had some sort of like retractable shield, too, but um, we get a shot later on of it. Looks like it took someone's head clean off, too, right there. Damn. Okay. Um, I don't actually know if you were able to hear. I might have to go back so you can see it. My base cam blocking it. Yeah, it shoots that guy and okay, yeah, you can see it like right there. <laughs> Looks like it takes his head clean off and yeah, that arrow is massive. But yeah, he's quick with trees. Looked like that was a shot of I can't tell him or her shot. Right here, too. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we get a really quick look at it. Let's see if I can beat shield. Okay, yeah. It, look, it almost looks like a wild boar right here, but I like the helmet and again, this shield is really. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Moves quick. Yes, it looks like he has the big blade right there, too. But yeah, August 5th. I'm very excited. Man, I didn't think I was going to be ex as excited as I would be watching the trailer for this. But yeah, this definitely popped up on my list of just again, most anticipated movies of the year. It looks really, really good. And I'm very excited for it for August 5th to come so I can finally watch this film. But yeah, in the comments down below, please let me know what you thought about this trailer and how excited you are for Prey to release. And if you like this trailer reaction, definitely give it a thumbs up. And you can, well, if you like this, of course, too, you can check out everything I do in this channel through my playlist down below. And I'll link some up top here for convenience sake. Um, thank you for subscribing, clicking that little bell so you know when I upload new videos. If you want to check out everything I do live stream and Twitch wise, link to that to the description of this video on my channel bio. And above those places, there's a link to the Media Mountain, which is my Discord where we talk about movies, video games, comic books, TV, pretty much everything that's awesome in this world. So you can definitely join that amazing community. I'll make it even more amazing than this already. And yeah, just awesome, guys. I'm really excited for this one.